Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me for our May 2020 Tarot reading. And this reading is going to be for the sign of Virgo. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. Beginning of the month, I'll take a card from the top. Middle of the month, I'm going to take a card from the center. And the end of the month, I'm going to take a card from the bottom. Wow, looks very, very interesting month for you. Well, we start out with the hanging man. So the beginning of May for some of you is going to be maybe a temporary standstill, okay? Maybe some of you are reaching a stalemate about something where you're not sure. Um, maybe there's a situation that you might have to take a look at it from a different point of view. Uh, but whatever it is, it's a, a, a period of suspension. I mean, he's tied up with these ropes here. He's not going anywhere. So maybe your hands are tied in a situation. Okay. Or like I said, it may be the need to look at things from a different perspective. Whatever it is, there's temporary inactivity going on in the beginning of the month. Okay. And you may need to, like I said, temporarily suspend all activities until you're able to come up with some type of a solution or better understanding about something in the beginning of the month. And, you know, it, it may indicate some type of self-sacrifice too. Sometimes we need to let go of something in the shorter term in order to gain something considered far more beneficial in the longer term. It may just be for some of you a sense of delayed gratification, which is, you know, also a form of self-sacrifice. Okay, so whatever it is, you know, despite him hanging upside down, you know, this is a voluntary stop in the activity. This isn't like somebody has tied you up and stopped you. Okay, this is a voluntary, voluntary inactivity that you need to take a time out here. Because then in the middle of the month, what a beautiful, beautiful energy. We have the three of cups. And as we know, the cups are our emotions. Okay, so there's some type of small get together or celebration going on in the middle of the month. Okay, it's possible that, you know, maybe you're getting an invitation or maybe you're attending, you know, a wedding or a christening um, in the middle of the month. Or maybe you're just going out with a, a couple of friends or getting together with a couple of friends. Whatever it is, you're feeling abundant in the middle of the month. It's a very, very positive happy emotional energy um, that you know you're feeling abundant because you've achieved something okay and like I said this could also indicate you know maybe a wedding or a christening um, and this could also be maybe progress of a relationship that's emotionally fulfilling so this may be with a partner spouse or lover maybe a friendship that's becoming more emotionally fulfilling okay whatever it is there's going to be some type of, of feeling uh, for a reason to celebrate in the middle of the month. That's what I'm really getting. And then at the end of the month, we see this uh, man holding the two of pentacles on this two of pentacles card. So for some of us, it may indicate travel, depending upon what your area allows. I know a lot of us are under quarantine where all travel is halted. So some of us may be doing some type of traveling, or this could possibly be you just may be balancing your, your home life and your work life. And a lot of us are working from home now. So maybe you need to find a balance between the two of them. Uh, maybe you're, you know, not doing your work because you're, you're just having too much fun being home <laughs> with your family. And I, could, I get that because we all deserve a time out where we could just enjoy ourselves. Uh, whatever it is, there's some need for balance at the end of the month. You may be taking on a, a second job of some type to get your finances balanced. Um, whatever it is at the end of the month, I mean, it's going to be different for a lot of you out there. So only you would know, you know, what needs to be put back into balance at the end of this month. So like I said, you may be just trying to maintain a balance in your life in general, you know, and you know, you're, you're working and you're, you're doing things with the family at home. Uh, but whatever it is, this balance is needed to ensure that everything is going to progress smoothly and flow harmoniously in your life. Uh, so a need for balance at the end of the month. So 
What a very interesting month for you. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.